All of the following information and more can be found in the long essay at Nature Bats Last, GuyMcPherson.com. Specifically, this information represents only a small fraction of my description of methane emanating from the Arctic Ocean. It's feedback number one on my long list of self-reinforcing feedback loops. To my knowledge, the first evidence in the journal literature concerning the firing of the clathrate gun appeared in the August 6, 2009 issue of Geophysical Research Letters. This paper reported about 250 plumes of methane clathrates escaping from the shallow Arctic seabed, likely as a result of a regional 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature. Several other journal articles appeared, including papers in Science, Nature, Nature Geoscience, and a few additional papers in Geophysical Research Letters. The United States National Atmospheric and Space Administration's CARVE project reported direct observations of plumes up to 150 kilometers in diameter in mid-July 2013. In November 2013, Natalia Shakova and colleagues published a paper in Nature Geoscience suggesting, quote, significant quantities of methane are escaping the East Siberian shelf, end quote, and indicating that a 50 billion ton burst of methane could warm Earth by 1.3 degrees Celsius. According to Shakova, such a burst of methane is, quote, highly possible at any time. According to an analysis by Malcolm Light, the clathrate gun began firing in 2007. That's the same year the extent of Arctic sea ice reached a tipping point, according to a paper in the February 12, 2013 issue of The Cryosphere. During an interview with Vice, published on August 1, 2014, Jason Box, an expert on ice, particularly in Greenland, said, quote, even if a small fraction of the Arctic carbon were released to the atmosphere, we're fucked, end quote. At this point, it's pretty clear from the exponential rise in atmospheric methane that Box's fears were fully justified and have been met with data. The importance of methane cannot be overstated. Increasingly, evidence points to a methane burst underlying the great dying associated with the end Permian extinction event as pointed out in the March 31st, 2014 issue of Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. As Malcolm Light reported on July 14th, 2014, quote, there are such massive reserves of methane in the subsea Arctic methane hydrates that if only a few percent of them are released, they will lead to a jump in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere of 10 degrees C and produce a Permian-style major extinction event which will kill us all, end quote. A global rise... A global average rise in temperature of only 5 to 8 degrees was responsible for the great dying, which was characterized by the extinction of more than 90% of life on Earth. In that case, the rise in temperature required tens of thousands of years. Paul Beckwith is a climate scientist at the University of Ottawa in Canada, and he studies this issue. In late November 2014, he predicted a 5 to 8 degree global average temperature rise within 10 or 20 years. I cannot imagine humans surviving such an abrupt rise in temperature because habitat for our species will disappear. Even the slow ongoing rise in Earth's temperature already exceeds the evolutionary ability of vertebrates to keep up by a factor of 10,000, according to a paper in the August 2013 issue of Ecology Letters, focused on mammals. Thanks very much for your attention, and a special thanks to students at the College of Guardians, mainly from Brazil, for the request that led to the creation of this short video.